Well, I've been all over and around this area, and I gathered a lot more materials. As you can see, I'm up to 1.2 million. But what I found out from word on the street is that emptying my ship of all its, like, fanciness would make other people show up in ships that are going to cost me less. And also, that I need to incrementally improve my ship in order to, like, afford the ships that I want. So, basically, instead of going straight to a 24-slot ship, what I need to do is go from 16 to 20, and then 20 to 24, and then 24 to 28, and keep going from there. So the most important thing is to get the cheapest ship I can with as many slots as I can. This seems to do that. This new starship, the Arashi S-22, is only 600,000 units and has 20 slots. So I'm going to go ahead and look at this. 16 to 20. I've emptied my ship. This seems like a good thing to me. Um, I guess these are like comparable things. So if we accept this... Boom. Now this is our ship. I can just hop in here. And hey, this seems like a similar familiar cockpit. Seems pretty okay. I'm going to come in and I'm going to immediately dismantle and sell whatever I can out of here. Oh, looks like I'm already full. So, now having done that, we're going to hop out again. We're going to run over here. And we're going to sell all the stuff that we just dismantled out of that ship for more money. And then buy an even upgraded our ship. So, interact. I love stable temperature levels. Sell for my inventory. Starship inventory. All of it. Just all of it. It's gone. Don't care. Gone. Now you're probably going to say, Joe, how much better than a $600,000 ship can you get for $600,000? Well, the answer is not that much, but we can still take what we got so far and then continue to get more. So let's see. If I go look at my exosuit for the moment, I'm going to go ahead and store a bunch of these warp cells and random things in the ship. Because why not? You know, we got the storage space. We'll save those in the ship for later. And then we can go fill these slots with stuff to gather more wealth. Now, I know for a fact that there's a bunch of random stuff around here. Oh, let's just go price some random ships now and see what they cost, actually. See... I don't know if these landed after I came, uh, got that new ship. So this is a 16 slot one. Abandoned starship. Huh. I wonder who abandoned that. Maybe it was me. Maybe I can come back and get that later if I want it. That's actually kind of neat. So this guy. So if you're going to sell your ship, is it better than the one I have? And if so... Okay, so now we've got a 23 slot ship for 1.5 million units. Huh. Well... Maybe I need to think about this stepping up program a little bit more carefully. Because I like the ship that I just bought well enough. It's already a step up. And I've really, I've spent hours mining around here while I was also editing video and doing other stuff off camera. So I think that it might be in my best interest from a mental standpoint to just throw some warp fuel in this thing and take off for another universe or galaxy or what have you. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, when I look at this, my actual pulse engine and hyperdrive don't have a ton of uh, power and stuff, so let's go ahead and drop some Thalmium-9 in here. And aim for the heavens. You know, shoot for that 90 there. And engage in pulse engine. Engage in warp drive. So let's see. We were at Ringamen... And if we go to this next planet here, this one has three planets, and maybe they're good. Let's go check them out. The adventure continues! Sometimes I feel like this warp animation takes too long, but then I, I don't really appreciate... Oh, there's a big exclamation point. Okay, so that makes me think that whatever that exclamation point is, is probably going to try and shoot at me. Okay, being shot at. Well, who's shooting at me now? A battle is detected. Of course, I've already sold the upgrades for my weapons. Uh, let's leave the uh, battle area. And hope that whoever's having a battle doesn't have, uh, what do you call them? Disruption things for pulse engines. I see there's some sort of planet over here. Let's head that way. 
Gotta disengage the pulse engine in order to actually re-aim. Whoa. Hello, rocks. I would like to not be hit by you. Hey, there's a festival, a Carabido festival over here. Let's go check that out. Oh, rocks. Rocks, rocks, rocks. Rocks, a lot of rocks. Okay, here we go. Carabido festival, here we come. Oh, it's actually a Carabirado festival. My mistake. I'm sorry, guys. I don't want to seem ignorant. And here we go, hitting the atmosphere upside down, precisely as intended. Ah, oh, another snow planet. Dang it. Ooh, with rare technology available, though. I do like rare technology. I do like when it's available. Why don't we go see what that looks like? It probably looks a lot like being shot at by aliens. Whoa, hey, Sky. You're not the one I'm here to see. Why am I back in the asteroid belt? A little bit too much inertia there, it looks like. But that's fine. So let's find the part of the planet that has the abandoned building. Oh, is it? Is it right there, or is it on the back side of the planet there? It's hard to tell sometimes. Wow, Pulse Engine, you are worthless. How is this abandoned building getting further away from me? Is it actually behind me or something? Hey, you guys, your planet's dumb. Your abandoned buildings are not optimal. Just saying. Hmm, in the meantime, though, there is this trading area here. Let's go ahead and initialize this landing sequence inconveniently just outside of uh, the thing. Whatever. Let's go ahead and check out these buildings that are not abandoned and see if anyone is friendly. Oh, hey, do you speak English? Do you have any interest in playing a game where you get to play as like a penguin or a rabbit? No, you don't have the word for rabbit. Um. Uh oh, his lights are constricting. Beam and moving images to the inside of my visor. That's not optimal. Hmm. Okay. So, he's asking me what I understand. And I need to ask... Directed energy diagrams, chemical formulae, or microdensity devices. I want to learn about microdensity devices. Hey, he's giving me an exosuit technology blueprint. Hey, I can extend cold damage shielding. That seems helpful in certain situations. And a new plasma grenade thing for my multi-tool. Ooh, hey, what do you got for sale here? I like how colorful this is. Let's see. A 12-slot multi-tool, which I can compare to my current unit, which has 10 slots. Now, I think this is another thing, kind of like the spaceship, where I just have to increase it, increase it multi- or incrementally. This one has a range booster. And... Beam intensifiers already. It already has the visor in there and the scanner. I mean, this seems like kind of a no-brainer. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna buy this. Whoa! Does this thing look way cooler too? Cause I, I think it. Do oh, there's a cop robot. Not gonna shoot this uh, cool gun over by the cop robot, but I really want to shoot the cool gun. Hey, I better save my progress. Which apparently is a journey milestone. Using a bunch of save points. Any of these boxes open? No? Terrible, terrible boxes. Let's see, so that's the building I was just in. This is the building I was not just in. Let's go see what's in this. It looks like some sort of crazy refinery. Not like a refinery for crazy people where they turn them into fuel, because that would be gross and unacceptable. Oh, hello, a robot chemist. Do you have any questions about chemistry? I might be able to answer them organically. Hey, Robux experiment, low rare silicate. Okay, he's, well, he looks like he wants rare silicate, but I don't have any chrysonite on me. I'll give him some plutonium. And uh, he's probably, like, barely acceptably happy. And he gave me power gel. Um, apparently I can make out of carbon. Easily constructed from common isotopes, frequently found in cylindrical metal containers. And my Corvax standard has expanded. Good. 
and a mine and bean companion unit for my bolt caster. Research specimen, I think I literally just stole. Shield restoration thing. Let's get out of here. Well, that was fun. Hey, cool boxes. Can we open these? Nothing. Dang it. Worthless cool boxes, but cool boxes nonetheless. And finally, we have this building, which looks like it would have like a lot of doors, like from a fire safety standpoint, but of course only has one, and it's going to be as far away from me as possible. Dang it, building, where's your door? I know you've got one. You must, like, by law, have at least one door. That's, you know, just a requirement for buildings. If you don't have at least one door, you're a monument, and the monument marker on the map is not lit up. Oh, hello. How are you? Do you have more experiments that you want me to, like, throw plutonium at? Let's see. Okay, I don't know any of these words, but Entity Corvax Echoes. Hmm. I guess I can wait. Oh, okay. A new entity emerged. And I got a life support module thing that I can increase energy and life support. Oh, hey, that's good, because I like exploring planets, and those take forever to explore. Hey, here's a box. Is this a Rubik's Cube? Oh, I got money. I think I stole money from his piggy bank, or his cubie bank. Whatever, that's fine. More stuff for me to touch. A recoil stabilizer for the bolt caster I don't use. And this is probably one of those doors that I can't get through without a... Yeah, I don't have that pass. I'm not that cool. Sorry, guys. Okay. Well, that was fun. I don't think I'm going to head back to my ship. And this 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 ice planet... I don't know. I, do, I just spent, like, hours on an ice planet. I think I'm going to hop in my ship and head to the next world. So I'll see you on the other time. Other side. Time skip. I, I just was so excited about saying time skip. It was, like, fixated. Time skip. Welcome back to Caraburado Fest, the only festival that's full of abandoned buildings and ice planets. My name is Joe Hills, and I'm excited to re-enter the atmosphere after leaving without visiting the abandoned building that I didn't care about in the first place. Let's find out if there's anything worth abandoning here ourselves. Because, like, you know, just because someone else abandons a building doesn't mean it wasn't for me. It means it wasn't for them. And I need to... Ooh, something exclamation marks going on over in the right side of the screen. But you know what? That's fine. Not our concern. Let's just keep heading toward the sun and hopefully not crash into it. Because that will burn us to death all the time. Let's see, I might have to use my Final Cut Pro warp engine. So, Whoosh! Engage. Final Cut Pro warp engine disengaged. We are getting very close. We are closing in on the abandoned building here. We're going to just park over the ridge. Oh, well. Hopefully any sentinels or whatever drones that hate mutants like me don't uh, get the chance to shoot at my ship. Oh, good. My jetpack is depleted. Is my inventory, do I have some space in it before I go? Just want to make sure, because, like, these things can get a little bit crazy. It's no good to run out of stuff or have no stuff or whatever at the last second. Okay, we got some extra platinum. That's good. So we got an abandoned building here that I'm sure is fine. I'm sure everybody loves it. Is this rock anything special? No? This tree? No? None of this matters. Okay, good. Well, let's go check out this, this, this facility. Oh, that looks like something that's going to knock into me. Okay, so just kind of quickly scan in the area. Don't see any creatures that want me dead. See, is that a door that only opens if I shoot at it? Because if so, sometimes these doors are a real pain. Well, this door is just open. That door is just open too. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what's going on in here. Oh good, a derelict. I found a body. It's unlike any I've ever seen. If there's a species like it, then I hope they are all dead like this one. Oh, what a terrifying thought. First, I thought it was some tragic remnant of matter transfer tech malfunction. A cage of boners and flesh set with their patterns. 
broken teeth and little size. But no, some horror of twisted evolution, warped by cruel nature. I can't help but picture what it would like to look a... What it would, this is just messing with me. It's too scary to imagine. I cannot help but fear it will live again. Okay, something's been left that will help me in my own journey. A life support companion unit that'll greatly increase my life support for extended planetary exploration. That's cool. Oh good, an incoming storm. My favorite. What is this thing? That looks like it would do something, but it doesn't apparently. Anything else? Good, good. That's that's what I want to do is freeze to death in the night. That would that was a top priority for me. Okay. So we're just gonna go ahead and hit this. And we are getting out of this world because they've got storms, they've got creepy aliens, and, uh, you know, it's just a good time to leave. Ooh, hey, there's a cool cave, but you know what it's a good time for is getting out of here. Big storm coming. They've got, like, 16 rad and 16.4 tox. No, oh, 1.6 rad. That's still pretty rad. I don't know how radical the, like, Earth's sun is, but, like, let's just go. Let's... Terrible world... Terrible, terrible storm. Low thermal protection. It, it's time. Let's find something habitable. Let's find something where we can relax and open our suit. And just kind of chill. Now, I know there was a big space battle up there that we were fleeing from when we came here. And so, you know, in fairness to this world, um, you were better than being shot out of the sky. But having seen the sky, I think I'm going to go back. So, until next, uh, until next time, crazy, stormy... Um, festival planet. What is it? Cara, Cara Barita Festival? W to take off. Until next time, Cara Barita Fest, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring. <laughs>